is introduce our next presenter, Glenn Merrilees. And I'm going to read out actually what's here so I don't miss any of this important introduction. Glenn Merrilees is a prominent mental health activist and a celebrated poet. After struggling with mental ill health for years, Glenn found the support he needed through the Falkirk and District Association for Mental Health. Glenn found the key element to his recovery was writing poetry. He now works with local and national mental health organisations to promote recovery and to tackle stigma. Glenn is passionate about seeing others who are living with mental health get the person-centred support that is, is right for them. Glenn has been involved with the Health and Social Care Alliance, the Alliance, for some time now and has been a member of the, I think it's PPHW, which is the Personal People Powered Health and Wellbeing, thank you, reference group since its formation. So Glenn, um, if you wouldn't mind coming forward and sharing um, really an experience or your thoughts that you want the group to, to take away today. Thank you. Hi everybody. Uh, I've suffered away mental health problems for 20 odd years now. Suffering a, a second breakdown in 2004. Uh, I was hospitalised for a month. I was out for a couple of days and then I was back in for another three weeks. I then spent about a year and a half going to day hospital. Uh, and then the next three and a half years still deeply depressed. No confidence, no self-esteem. Sitting about the house, just very seldom gone out. I was suffering the panic attacks. Uh, it wasn't until about the, um, the ref uh, referral to FADAM that things started changing for me. Uh, I'm doctors can give you tablets for, um, to level off your depression, but they can't give you nothing for self-esteem and confidence. And that's one thing I can say that uh, FADAM helped me with, <coughs> even though I'm standing up here like a jellyfish. You know? <laughs> but, uh, Here's a poem on stigma because there's still a lot yet out there. It's called See Me. I filled the application form full of trepidation as it asked of mental illnesses and further explanation. The interview went brilliantly. The boss was on my side. Keep it to yourself, son, because I've been on that ride. That really made me wonder. Last, the last few words he'd said. Some dirty little secret. Why should we be afraid? Oh, excuse me, I'll need to sit down to finish this one. <coughs> oh no, I'm just a bit shaky. Uh, why should we be afraid? The first few months were awesome. I was in the team. It brought back some confidence and built my self-esteem. Then suddenly it hit me. Bang, fade out the blue. Someone let the tire down, but at least this time I knew. I knew it was depression, nowhere I could hide. The lack of hope, the uselessness, the thoughts of suicide. Then began the stigma with the days that I took off. Fight each day to leave my bed. Colleagues sit and scoff. This would last for weeks and weeks, or sometimes only days. Each victim hit uniquely, and also diff in many different ways. A resentment and a loathing, my colleagues' words unkind. I couldn't take it anymore, so unleashed this tortured mind. See me, I'm just the same as you. I work to pay each bill, but every corner holds my name. The days off when I'm ill. I ask you no for sympathy. Understanding is the key. Drop the looks, the whispers. Step back and just see me. See me, I am your equal. Work as hard as I am able. Both fighting for a common cause. Bread upon your table. Depression is bad enough without the sideward views. Terrified each time I'm sick 
and a job I just might lose. See me, I'm just a victim. I am that one in four. And I really pray this illness shall never knock your door. Thank you. I think that um, presentation really brings home the importance of uh, appreciating everybody's individual story and everybody's individual journey. And again, it, for me, it emphasised the whole point of this about ensuring that people get the right support at the right time in a way that's right for them. But also that it's not something that's done to people, but actually with people empowered and in control and able to make decisions for themselves. So I think a fantastic illustration this morning um, and hopefully food for thought as we go forward through the rest of our programme. Thank you to Glenn. Glenn's having to scoot off. He's now uh, going somewhere, I think, to Teachers Building. So thanks again to Glenn. I really appreciate that input. Thank you. <laughs>